Hello, I'm Colin Royce from the University of Melbourne. Over the last 10 years, echocardiography has increasingly been used in anaesthesia and critical care specialties. Transesophageal echocardiography is now used routinely in cardiac surgery, in trauma, and in sick patients undergoing non-cardiac surgery. Transthoracic echocardiography is a very exciting area because it is non-invasive. It is being used in multiple clinical scenarios, from rapid screening to assess the basic hemodynamic state, through to full diagnostic studies. Ultrasound-guided hemodynamic management offers great promise for improvement in patient care in the operating room, the emergency room, or the intensive care unit. Ultrasound-guided procedures will very likely become the standard of care of the future. High-frequency linear array transducers now provide us with the ability to directly visualise blood vessels, nerves, or even atheroma within arteries. We no longer need to rely on blind approaches when attempting to target the structures. Once you are familiar with the hand-eye coordination required to perform ultrasound, you will be amazed how simple and accurate it is to perform nerve blocks, central venous cannulation, pick lines, arterial lines, and even epiaortic imaging. The rapid uptake of echocardiography is due to two simultaneous influences. Firstly, advances in the educational opportunities to help get people started. And secondly, the emergence of small, portable and affordable ultrasound machines. Ultrasound companies such as Sonosite have led the development of high quality yet affordable ultrasound machines for the perioperative and critical care specialties. These machines range from handheld devices for ultrasound guided procedures such as the iLook to robust general purpose machines such as the Sonar Heart Elite, 180 Plus and Titan, through to fully capable echocardiography machines capable of advanced transthoracic and transesophageal imaging, such as the Micromax. Education is the key to getting started. There are a number of books available, including The Pocket Guide to Perioperative and Critical Care Echocardiography. For some initial hands-on experience, there are also short courses and workshops available, such as the Point of Care Ultrasound course run by the University of Melbourne. To become an advanced user, however, you need to acquire an extensive knowledge base. In my experience, the acquisition of images is not that hard, but the real hurdle to becoming an advanced practitioner is to acquire the knowledge base. At the University of Melbourne, we have developed a postgraduate diploma course in perioperative and critical care echocardiography. This aims to teach you the extensive knowledge base sufficient to become an advanced practitioner. It is conducted entirely by distance education, so that there is no need to give up valuable clinical time in order to acquire the knowledge. The course is based on a series of interactive tutorials comprising CDs and accompanying workbooks. There are eight subjects, with approximately eight to ten tutorials in each subject. All examinations are conducted via distance education. At the successful conclusion of the course, you will be awarded a postgraduate diploma of echocardiography from the University of Melbourne. To learn more about how you can become part of the new and exciting developments in echocardiography and to find out more about the postgraduate diploma course, please visit our website or contact us for more information.